Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Lavi Ben Jaffi State and today I am here for class C English version students. So dear students, today our topic is word problems for math and our today's page is 72. So today I am going to show you some word problems from page 72. So let's start. So here is the first one. Reza is inviting six friends to his house. He has 85 borrowed. How many borrowed will each friend get? Is there any remaining borrowed? So let's see the answer. Six friends got 85 borrowed. So each friend got 85 divided by 6 borrowed. So that will be 14 borrowed and 1 remaining. So we can see that 14 is the quotient and 1 is the Reminder, so that is each friend will get 14 borrowy with one remaining. So students, this is the first word problem. Now let's go to our second word problem. The price of a pencil is taka 20 and that of an exercise book is taka 25. How many taka will be needed to buy 5 pencils and 6 exercise books? So students, let's go through the answer. The price of one pencil is taka 20. So the price of five pencils is taka 20 into 5 is equal to taka 100. Because 5 into 0 is equal to 0. Then 5 into 2 is equal to 10. That is 100. Then the price of one exercise book is taka 25. So the price of six exercise books is taka 25 into 6. That is 6 into 5 is equal to 30, 0 and 3 in hand and 6 into 2 is equal to 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. That is taka 150. The total money will be needed is taka 100 plus 150 is equal to taka 250. Answer. So, taka 250 will be needed to buy 5 pencils and 6 exercise books. Now, we are in our third word problem. Three parts out of five parts of a 60 meter long ribbon are given to Roma. How many meters of the ribbon does Roma get? So let's see the answer. Three by five parts of 60 percent will be 60 into 3 divided by 5. This is a divide sign. That is if we multiply 60, if we multiply 60 by 3 then we get 180. Then if we divide 180 by 5, then we will get 36 meters. Answer. So Ruma will get 36 meters ribbon. Now our fourth question. There are 55 books in each Almira. How many books are there in 12 such Almiras? In each Almira, there are 55 books. In 12 Almiras, there are 55 into 12 books. So, that is 660 books. Because if I multiply 55 by 12, then we will get 660. So, there are 660 books in 12 Almiras. Now, our fifth question. In a class, there are 44 students. How many benches? will be needed for four students to sit in one bench. So students, let's go through the answer. Four students can sit in one bench. So 44 students can sit in 44 divided by four benches. Because we have to find the number of benches, so we have to divide the number of total students by number of students can sit in one bench. So if we divide 44 by four, then we will get 11 benches. So, 11 benches will be needed in the classroom. Now, our sixth question. There are 32 lozenges in a packet. How many lozenges are in 8 such packets? So, students, we have to find the number of lozenges in 8 packets. So, in one packet, there are 32 lozenges. So, then in 8 packets, there are 32 into 8 lozenges, that is 
256 clauses because 8 into 2 is equal to 16, 1 in hand and 8 into 24 and 24 plus 1 is equal to 25 that is 256 clauses. Answer in 8 packets there are 256 clauses. Now our seventh question. The price of a book and three pencils are taka 95 together. The price of a pencil is taka 20. What is the price of a book? So students, we have to find the number of the price of the three pencils at first and we have to make the difference between the price of book and the three pencils. Then we will get the price of the book. The price of one pencil is taka 20. So then, the price of 3 pencils is taka 20 into 3 is equal to taka 60. Then, the price of 1 book is taka 95 minus 60 is equal to taka 35. That is, so the price of a book is taka 35. Now our 8th question. There were 83 mangoes. Reza took 6 mangoes from them and distributed the rest equally to his friends. Seven friends. How many did each of his friends get? So at first, there are 83 mangoes and Reza took six mangoes. So then, remaining 77 mangoes because we have to subtract six from 83. Then we will get 77 mangoes. Now, seven friends got 77 mangoes and each friend got 77 divided by 7 mangoes is equal to 11 mangoes. If we multiply 11 by 7, then we will get 77. So, each of his friends will get 11 mangoes. So, students, this is our 8 word problem. Now, let's go to our 9th word problem. Here is the 9th word problem. Rohim's weight is 25 kg. Akash weight is 3 kg more than Rohim's weight. Ali's weight is 34 kg. What is the difference between Akash and Ali's weight? So let's see the answer. Rohim's weight is 25 kg. Then Akash weight is 25 plus 3. That is 28 kg. Now then, the difference between Akash and Ali's weight is 34 minus 28 kg is equal to 6 kg. If we add 6 to 28, then we will get 34. So, the difference between Akash and Ali's weight is 6 kg. Now, we, we are in our last word problems of today's video. It is possible to keep 42 books in a shelf. Two such shelves are filled with books and there are 8 more books. How many books are there all together? So, in one shelf, there are 42 books. So, in two shelves, there are 42 into 2 books. That is, 84 books. Now then, total number of books is 84 plus 8 is equal to 92 books. So, that is, the total number of books is 92. And students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.